Over the last six months, we have made a monthly craft uh, that is geared towards any skill level. So he's actually doing all the work. And this month, we're going to work on one for kind of a fall theme. And what better to do than throw a football on there? So let's get started. I began by finding a football on Canva and then I converted that into an SVG file and imported it into Carbide Create. We came up with a design. We're cutting this out of one half inch thick MDF and we're just going to cut it away. I cut all the detail in first and then I had it cut the outline and once that was loose we could then just take it and uh, cut the tabs that hold the football in place um, during the cutting process and then it's ready to be painted so there was a little bit of light sanding we had to do on the back and it's just to get some of the you get a little bit of um, kind of like fuzz like burr marks not burr marks but um, it's kind of like a fuzz that appears when you cut through this stuff so I just cleaned a little bit of that up on the sander and then we got some spray paint out and painted it up. Found a really nice brown spray paint. Um, it was a Rust-Oleum brand and it's just brown, but I thought it matched the color of a football really well. So we coated this real well. It does take a couple coats because the MDF tends to soak up the paint uh, unless you prime it, which this is a two-in-one. It has a primer built in. But it's still, it just, it's going to take a couple coats more than likely. So we just show here painting one coat, but we did put a few more on. Next, we mixed up some epoxy. Now, I like to use super clear epoxy. I can put a link to that down in the description below. Uh, it works really well for pretty much every use I've ever used it for, uh, including tables and things like this. And then to get the white, uh, I wanted like a really true white color. So we just put a little bit of acrylic paint in there, a little white acrylic paint in there, and mixed it in. And you can do this to a certain degree. If you try to, if you put too much in, it can affect the the strength and the mix quality of the epoxy. So you gotta be careful with, you know, you don't want to overdo it. But a little bit, um, it goes a long way, and it works really well. So um, then we we have a. Uh, I have some syringes in my shop. I have an aunt that works in the medical field and she always ends up showing up with these unused syringes. They work amazing for using an epoxy in detailed areas. So if you do that, it's a great way to do it. If you don't have a source for them, you can actually buy them on Amazon. I have bought them on there before, back before my aunt used to, before she started supplying me with them. But, um, they work really good. Just one thing you gotta watch is you always gotta watch the tip of the syringe because it gets uh, always forms a drip, and if you aren't careful, it's gonna drip somewhere you don't want it to. And you'll see throughout this process, we have a few drips that were places we didn't want them. Um, I repeatedly told him to keep wiping it. So, um, but it's it's really hard to avoid, and it's easy to just lose a little bit of control or push. This, the plunger out too fast so you just got to be careful take your time don't get in a hurry but they work really well for things like this now as you can see we also taped up the edges that's just kind of the form like a dam to keep the epoxy in so it didn't all just flow out and drip on back down on the, the cardboard there now we we peeled it off and it was a little bit too early and it dripped out the edges a little bit not as bad, you know, we didn't get much on the actual cardboard. It just kind of ran a little. So it did require a little bit of touch-up. We just hit it with a sander a little bit to, to clean up the edge and then just touched it up with some more spray paint by putting the the top side face down so we were sure not to get any you know paint on the actual white that we just got done doing. And it just got some paint on the, black, uh, on the back is all it did. So... It worked really well. It turned out really well. I uh, thought he did a good job, and it was a, a good idea that, that he came up with. 
So we finish these off every month by getting a new Velcro command stripped out. We pay some, place them face down so the Velcro attaches to the previous piece of Velcro that's sticking on the actual frame, the backboard there. And then we peel the backs away. We'll take the football or whatever it is the, for that month and we'll stick it down on those sticky backs of those Velcro strips and it'll stay in place the entire time we have this on display. When it's time to change to the next month, we can pull the football off, Velcro stays on it, and we put two new command strips on the next design and the next month's ready for display too. So it makes it really nice and easy to interchange what's on this display board. Okay, so here's the final result. It turned out really good. Uh, he did a great job. Uh, this was all his decision on what we were doing, and I like it. It's really appropriate here for the fall season, and uh, we're going to keep doing these each month. So I don't. What are we going to do next month? A pumpkin, maybe? Maybe. So right now it's mid-August. Probably do a pumpkin next month, and uh, get something ready here for the Halloween and fall season. So if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button trying to grow our subscriber count right now and grow this channel. So we really appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.